Nichols is asking the federal government for resources, possibly even help from FEMA. The city's emergency shelter can hold 150 people, but was already over capacity before the notification from Border Patrol. Austin Westfall is in Yuma at the Salvation Army, which is also hosting migrant families, taking in about 1,300 just in the last three weeks. The actual location where the Salvation Army is housing migrants is kept a secret. So I was asked to meet with their captain at Catholic Community Services, a humanitarian aid organization that's with the Catholic Church with several locations, including one right here in Yuma. Now, the Salvation Army says they're housing about 200 migrants right now, but they're only comfortable with about 150 max. They're hoping that the new emergency declaration might help secure more resources. Right, it opens up an avenue of, uh, of, of revenue source for, on a state and possibly a federal, uh, federal level that we can sustain um, or even alleviate some of the pressure that, that we're experiencing right now. Um, it, it, it costs money to, uh, to take care of people. Brazil says all the migrants under the Salvation Army are families. The ratio is three children to every one adult. And Mayor Nichols says that with this emergency declaration, he hopes to get state and federal authorities to help him with this influx of migrants. In Yuma, Austin Westfall, Cronkite News.